on as the last. Let me just see. I am going to log out. Now I'm going to log in as Rowan. Oops. Okay, I'm going to go into Google Classroom. And now I'm going to complete the math assignment. Okay, so representing numbers. Okay, so there is a game to play and also there is work to do. So it says on the first slide, show the numbers demonstrated by each picture and solve the problem by inserting text boxes. Follow the link on the second slide to drag the flag to the correct position on a number line to develop your estimation skills using a number line up to 100. Choose one type of number line or for more of a challenge, you can select several. Work quickly to get more time, build your score, and climb up the leaderboard. You will have to open the link in a new window. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go to my slideshow that has been assigned to me, and I'm pretending to be Rowan. Now, I wanna make this more visible, because it's tiny, so I'm gonna to go to View, Zoom, and I'm going to go to 100%. Now it says, write the numeral represented by the 10 frames. So I'm going to look at that number, and then I'm going to click on the text box in my toolbar, and I'm going to write the number there. Okay, and then it says show 63 or 62 in three different ways using expressions and pictures. So I can simply do a number bond if I wanted to. So if I wanted to show 62, now I don't want that colored in, I can type a number there. Uh, let me just think of a number and Okay, now I'm going to copy that and I'm going to right click and paste it. Now if I add 30 and 30 together, that does not make 62, but I could add another number to 30 to make a number bond that would equal 62. Okay, now I could also do it over here as an equation by entering in another text box and I could do something plus something equals 62. Okay, now I want to stretch that out a little bit better so it all fits on one line. And then I would add another text box to show it in another way. And I could do base 10 blocks. Now remember, um, I could just use this to represent 10. So I have 30 tens there now, 40 tens, 50 tens, and remember, x is equal to the 1s. So that would be 52. Not quite the number that I want, but you get the idea. Now down here, it's actually asking me to uh, put in the number represented by the base 10 blocks. Now remember, this represents 10, and these little cubes represent 1. In the tally, Remember, we've got one, two, three, four, five in a tally. So we skip count by fives, five, ten, and keep going. When I know the answer, I simply click on the text box and put my number in there. Now remember, the coins are um, worth different values. The ones with the blue nose are worth ten cents. The ones with the beaver are worth five cents. And those ones are out of circulation now with a maple leaf on them, but the copper ones are the penny, okay? When I'm ready to know the value, I simply click on the text box, and I don't need it that big, and I type the value of my coins. Now remember, when you are typing your coin value, you can, I don't see the symbol here, but you can go to insert, and you can add a symbol, I believe. Let's just see. Hmm. Special characters. And I believe there is a cent. There we go. And it entered two for me. So make sure you, you can put that, but you don't need it.
Now there are a couple other questions here. The first one is a word problem. It says the grade two class had some fish in an aquarium. There were nine fish in September and then in December the teacher brought in eight more fish. How many fish does the class have now? Solve and show your thinking. And again, you can write the number sentence. You can, and remember to show your work, please. Don't simply um, write the answer. And then down below, you can write the number sentence or the equation that matches that story. And remember, you can draw a picture. You can insert, let me just see if we go back into that special characters, if I can find something that looks like a fish. Oh, there is. So I could do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let me just see. I'm going to close out of that. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now I have to do, there were eight more fish that were purchased. So I will add eight more fish and to get the solution for this problem. Okay. So then on second slide, this is where we play target 59 and this is an estimation game and I'm going to simply click on this link and it should take me to a link here which I can open in a new window and it says that I can play All right, so remember, I'm gonna play for numbers up to 100. That's the goal for grade two. Sure, I wanna play for points. Okay, 87, so I'm gonna drag. If this is 50 and this is 100, I think 87 will be about there. Now I wanna check my answer. Oh, I got it perfectly right. Okay. So my next problem is 57. So if this is 50, I think 57 is right there. Oh, I am very accurate today. My estimation skills are good. Now 10. All right. Oh, I missed by six. I was closer to 20 than I was 10. So that wasn't so good. All right, 37. So if this is 50, I think this is 40, and I think that's 37. Oh, I got another one correct. So the more you do it, the better you get at estimating. And what you have to think about is your benchmark. So this would be 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and remember they're all separated equal. In between the 50 and the 100, there would be five tens. So 110, which is 60, seven tens, oops, eight tens, nine tens, 10 tens approximately. Okay, so if you're struggling with this, you can get more divisions in. So 97, this would be 90. I have to either play again or change my level. Okay, so hopefully now you've got a hang of what to do. I'm going to go back to this assignment and remember when you are finished to turn it in, please, so that I can see that your work is completed. I know a lot of you yesterday completed your spelling assignments but did not turn it in. So please be sure to turn in your work. Okay, um, happy estimating and representing numbers.